time. Hello, judges. Welcome. My name is Manuel. I'm so proud to brew some coffee for you today. Mexico, this is where I am from. Many of you know Mexico as a beautiful destination, but not about high school coffee, right? That drove me here today. I want to change the perception that most people have about Mexican coffee, and especially filtered coffee. Market for filtered coffee is growing, so coffee producers are working so hard in order to grow coffee with that purpose. Let's start with my coffee, Sidra. No, a new variety globally, but almost new for Mexico. The Sidra grows slowly in beautiful trees in Oaxaca, cultivated at 1,700 meters above sea level. In Vinca Chelin, a great place for coffee growing. This is where Enrique Lopez, the producer of this coffee, was focusing on adapting the growing and processing techniques to the resources he had. The complexity in the notes of the beautiful flavors in this sidra come from the origin, processing and adaptation to the soil. This is not a traditional natural process because when the cherries would have lost around 40% humidity, Enrique rehydrated again the coffee cherries to bring clarity and intensity flavors. Then the cherries finish the drying process in African beds inside greenhouses. This is to keep the development of sugar and silky body texture that this coffee has to offer. This is an hydro natural coffee process. This coffee was roasted four days ago to Actron 76 for eight minutes using a stronghold roaster. I'm looking to increase the sweetness from the beginning to the end. This profile increases the vibrancy and all the beautiful fruity flavors that you will experience later. Today, I am using Gem Series Reaper. I found the lead plays an important role by keeping the heat and steam inside, having more temperature and highlighting the aroma. The hole in the middle allows to keep the puring in the center, resulting in a higher control over the extraction for complexity in the sweetness. Diamond shape and lines inside makes the water flow slow for longer contact time between coffee oil and hot water. To get a silky body texture. This is possible because this is not a round brew method. To take the best gem, I'm using 15 grams of coffee with 250 ml of water to get 220 ml of beverage. I'm puring four times. First pour, blooming for, with 50 ml for 10 seconds for proper the gas. Then, second pour. This is to achieve 120 ml to develop aroma and highlight acidity. The airport is very important. This is when the acid turns to sweetness and develop body. And finally, I'm puring 70 ml for lower extraction to balance the cup. Brew time is closely rated to grind size. I'm using 26 clicks in Commandante Grinder for a faster extraction with a total brew time, two minutes with 30 seconds to have a great balance between sweetness and acidity. I filter my water to ice in the ionized carbon filter. I found out that magnesium makes all the difference. With this process, the filter water contains a higher amount of mineral magnesium compared with the other filtration techniques 
and provide natural sweetness and unique taste experience. My water is 70 TDS, pH 6.8. Temperature was set 92 Celsius degrees for efficient kinetics with my rose level and grind size. Now, my favorite part, the sensory experience. When the coffee is hot, in the aroma, you will get a stone fruit flavor, fish and nectarine, with a hint of vanilla toffee caramel. Please take the aroma directly from the server. This is for you, enjoy. Feel free to take the aroma more than once. Remember, a stone fruit. Are you ready? Okay. Let me serve you. Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. When the coffee is hot, the flavor is very fruity. Nectarine, fish, and lychee. Followed by grapefruit and chocolate. The aftertaste is long lasting, lingering, like grapefruit with dark chocolate. The acidity is vibrant like pink guava. This coffee is very sweet. You will find a stone fruit jam. When the coffee is warm, it becomes more transparent the flavor. Nectarine, a strawberry, and chocolate. The aftertaste is crisp and clean, with herbal notes like mint and cacao nib. In the sweetness, now you will find citrus notes like orange, sweet orange. The acidity is vibrant, medium intensity, tartaric acidity like raspberry. When the coffee is cold, you will find excellent balance and sweetness in the flavor. Nectarine, mandarin, and passion fruit. The acidity is like a kiwi. The sweetness is delicate but well structured like sweet lychee. And the mouthfeel is silky and coating. Very smooth all the way from hot to cold. And the aftertaste is like a pineapple jam. This is for you, how you like it for you, enjoy. It's for you, how do you like it? Mexico has extraordinary coffee beans. This is one of the best coffee I tasted this year. Thank you very much, time.
There was applause for Manuel Vasquez from Mexico.